everyone, welcome back to The Tune Project. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Somewhere Over the Rainbow from The Wizard of Oz. And as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so that other people can also learn and see this video. And if you're not already subscribed to The Tune Project, I ask you to consider subscribing by hitting that red subscribe button below and the bell so that you can be notified each time I upload a new video. So we're going to be playing this one in the key of D major, which is a key that sits really nicely on the fiddle, and we are starting on open D. Next we go back to that open D, but instead of going up to our third finger D and playing the octave, this time we play B, our first finger on the A string. Next, we continue the same pattern, but this time we go down to our B natural on the G string. Next, we start on our first finger on the D string, E, and we then reach up to our C sharp. So make sure that you're able to practice that interval maybe before we get into this so that you can reach that third finger all the way up to your C sharp. And with that one, I would encourage you to leave your first finger on E as you reach up to your third finger for the C sharp so that you can really use your first finger to help find that C sharp and kind of use it as a guide. And next we would repeat all of that once again. So I'm gonna go ahead and play everything that we've learned so far. And if you think you have it, then you're welcome to play along with me. the next section we have a new slur pattern in this one we're gonna be slurring sets of four eighth notes on one bow so we're gonna be doing some string crossings and slurs at the same time so if you're not super familiar with that technique I would encourage you to just practice going from D to A <laughs> A few times just so that you can get the hang of it and again we're slurring four notes in one bow so let's get started with this next section <laughs> For that and we went back and forth between F sharp and A. Next we have this same pattern except this time we're going from our third finger G to open A. Next we go back to our F sharp A slur pattern. And now go ahead and leave your second finger on the F sharp because we're going to be reaching up a whole step to our G sharp so you can use your second finger as a guide and then we're going to reach back with our first finger on the A string to a B natural because those are the two notes G sharp and B that we're going to be going between for this next slur pattern. <laughs> So if you need to practice that one a couple of times before moving on, that's totally fine. You can pause this video and practice that interval. If not, if you're good, let's move on to the next section. So with this one, we play exactly the same melody that we had in the very beginning. So we go back to our theme. Next, we continue on with this familiar theme starting on a B natural. Mm -hmm. 
And that is it for this one. I really hope you enjoyed learning Somewhere Over the Rainbow today. Again, if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you next week for another tutorial. Happy practicing.